Now I have another question here which we would want to work out. Now I'd want you to pause the video and try to attempt this question. So we will start with part one. The question goes, a curve has equation y is equal to x squared minus x plus 3 and a line has equation y is equal to 3x plus a where a is a constant. On part one, which is the one we are going to start with, show that the x coordinates of the points of intersection of the line and the curve are given by the equation x squared minus 4x plus 3 minus a equal to 0. So for this question, we have the curve y is equal to x squared minus x plus 3. And we have the line y is equal to 3x plus a. And since the curve and the line are intersecting, we can combine the two equations. And since they are all in the form y in terms of x, so we can safely say x squared minus x plus 3 is equal to 3x plus a. Now, if we are going to subtract 3x from both sides and a from both sides, we are going to get x squared minus x plus 3 minus 3x minus a is equal to 0. Now, if I group the terms, I have x squared. That's the only term in x squared. For the terms in x, I have minus x and minus 3x. So minus x minus 3x, that's minus 4x. Then for the constants, the terms without x, I have 3 minus a. So that's plus 3 minus a. And it's all equal to 0. And that's the answer to part 1. That's what they wanted us to show. Part 2. For the case where the line intersects the curve at two points, it is given that the x coordinate of one of the points of intersection is minus 1. Find the x coordinate of the other point of intersection. Alright, so to work this one out, we're going to use what we've already gotten from part 1. That's x squared minus 4x plus 3 minus a is equal to 0. This is the combined equation for the curve and the line. So since, according to the question, the x coordinate of one of the points of intersection is minus 1, it means that x is equal to minus 1 at that point and we substitute that value into this equation. So we'll be having minus 1 squared minus 4 of minus 1 plus 3 minus a is equal to 0. So as you can see, this is going to help us find the value of a. I'll simplify. Minus 1 squared is 1. Minus 4 times minus 1, that's plus 4, plus 3 minus a equal to 0. 1 plus 4 plus 3, that's 8. Therefore, we're going to get a is equal to 8 for this equation. Which means that if we're going to express the quadratic equation, we will get x squared minus 4x plus 3 minus a, which is 3 minus 8 in this case, equal to 0. That's x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. I'm going to factorize this. So I have an x here and an x here. Then factors of minus 5, I'll have 5 and 1. And I'll have minus 5 here and plus here. Which therefore means that the two solutions that we can get is going to be either x minus 5 is equal to 0 of which x gives us 5. Or x plus 1 is equal to 0, where x is equal to minus 1. 
Now you can see that the x is equal to minus 1 that the question already gave us is coming out here. So the other x coordinate which is required by the question is 5. So for the answer x is equal to 5. Let's go on to part 3 of the question, the third part. It goes, for the case where the line is a tangent to the curve, at a point P, find the value of A and the coordinates of P. So I'm going to clear off the screen so that we have more space. So I'll just leave out um, this information here. So for part 3, Uh, they say for the case where the line is a tangent to the curve. So if it is a tangent, remember we already have x squared minus 4x plus 3 minus a equal to 0 as the combined equation for the curve and the line. So if it is a tangent, then we know that b squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0. Now for this equation, a is equal to 1, that's the coefficient of x squared. B is equal to minus 4, that's the coefficient of x. And C is equal to 3 minus A. So to work out B squared minus 4AC, we'll be having minus 4 squared minus 4 A, that's 1, and C is 3 minus A. And this is going to be equal to 0. So we are going to get 16 from minus 4 squared minus 4 of 3 minus a equal to 0. That's 16 minus 12 minus 4 times minus a. That's plus 4a equal to 0. So that's 4 plus 4a equal to 0. That's 4a is equal to minus 4 by subtracting 4 from both sides and dividing both sides by 4. We get a being equal to minus 1. So we have the value of a being equal to minus 1. So if a is equal to minus 1, what we will now need to do, let me just create some space. So we will now just substitute this into the combined equation. So we'll now be having x squared minus 4x plus 3 minus a. So since a is minus 1, that's 3 plus 1 equal to 0. And that's x squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to 0. And factorizing this, um, this is going to be 2 and 2, so minus and minus. So we got we get um, x is equal to two twice, and what that means is that x is equal to two at the point P, and if x is equal to two at the point P, then we can find the value, the y value. Let's make use of any one of the equations. So I'm going to use the equation. Um, y is equal to 3x plus a, but a is minus 1, so it's y is equal to 3x minus 1. So, now since x is 2, so it means that y is equal to 3 of 2 minus 1, which is 6 minus 1, that's 5. So the y value is 5. So for the coordinates of p, The coordinates are 2, 5, and that's the final answer.